Hello everybody, this is Husky10 with another tutorial. This tutorial we're going to be making a game um, similar to this. Let me pull it up. You probably didn't know I released it. I kind of did it anonymously on Newgrounds, Itch.io, and Game Jolt. Um, here's my here here's the game it's a simple carnival game to celebrate carnivals see celebrating carnivals this is the game we're going to be making you shoot the ducks If you shoot the red, you die. And it restarts. But if they hit the other end. But if they hit the other end. You lose. Um yeah so let's get into it so i'm going to create a new project and we are going to go into properties we're going to name our game i'm going to call this carnival game gonna set the width we can keep it the way it is uncheck the upload resolution update resolution uncheck that and then we add a new scene and then we're also going to add a global variable ahead of time this is going to be called score zero and apply so go into our new scene we have this blank scene let me see if I still have those images that I used um, yes I do so I'm going to change the scene properties to whatever color I want. Uh, purple would be fine. So I'm going to add a new sprite. I'm going to call this cor course. Courser. I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to edit with Pisco. We can pretty much have anything we want as our um, scope. This is our scope. Draw this quickly. And then you want to fill it in. Hit save. We want to go to edit points. And we want to zoom in and put this in the center. Hit close and apply. So now we have our coarser. Let's program the program it. So we're going to go add a new event group. Call it mouse. Um, at the beginning of the scene, we want to create the object. If I can remember how to do this, at mouse x and mouse y. But we wanna we wanna do one more thing which is create we wanna um go to the position. We wanna choose position set equals to and then in the X we're going to type in our cursor dot X equals and cursor dot Y
Hit OK. Let's see what we got. It's not going, so. Okay, so we might want to delete that. Okay. That's not what we want. We want to. Okay, I'm going to try to fix it. What I'm doing is I'm making sure I got it right. You see, the thing we want is we want it to follow the mouse. Oh, we did this wrong, so we want it to be at mouse X and mouse Y. If I did this right, and it didn't work. There we go. There we go. So I, you got to separate these two commands. And at the beginning of the scene, we want to hide the cursor. Hit OK. And we got this. All right, we got this. So what we need now is our objects that we're going to shoot. So let's add a new one. I'm going to say mouse. I'm going to say duck one. I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to import my image. Um, let's have the red duck as the main duck that you don't shoot and then duck two and then let's see what else Hit open, and we got our second duck. So we want them to start here, like this. So let's d program duck one. So go down, bring it down. Let's call this duck one, one, because we're going to do program it twice so we're going to say at so we're going to start scene timer value of a scene timer we're going to set it for eh, let's say four minutes I mean four seconds and we're going to say d11 as the name and then we're going to create duck one at position negative 90 by 37 hit ok and then we wanna um Reset the scene timer. And we're going to say D11 because that's the timer name. Hit OK. And now we want to add force to it. And we're going to say negative 100. This is going to be trial and error for me. All right, that's not right.
There we go. There we go. All right, so we want to do the second duck. So let's do a new group. Duck. Two, one. All right, we want to copy this. Change this to two, one. We want to create duck two. And we want to reset the timer duck to one. And then we want to add force to our duck. All right, now let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. Oh, no, it doesn't. Because now they're starting at the same time, so we're going to lower this by three seconds. Trial and error, gotta love it. Yeah, this is not supposed to be happening. So, in order to fix that, I am going to add the separate two objects. So, let's preview it because we want it to view as a full object. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. So let's set this to five, five sec, no, two seconds. Let's see if that solves the problem because the problem is they're overlapping. Yeah, like that. See, like that. So let me look at one thing. Well, I guess it's not that noticeable. But I kind of want to... Yeah, no. Um, let's set this to five. Two seconds. In the, in the original game, you went fast. One of the ducks went faster that you're not supposed to shoot, so. Okay, that's too fast. All right, that's still too fast. So to, if anybody has a fix to that issue, go go ahead and tell me. Um, but anyway, that's how you make those. Now let's add shooting. So let's add a new group, and we're gonna say shooting. So we are going to do the first duck um we're going to say when you touch the duck we're going to change the animation to 
set it to zero hit OK and then we want to indent a new condition and say mouse button presser held left hit OK um, we want to delete the duck so here's what we got I'm gonna change the timer to two seconds to make this a little easier or harder there you go you don't shoot the those we're gonna create a new scene property I mean a new scene rename it you lose and we're going to copy and paste this event and say duck two we're just copy and pasting those so but right here in for the for duck two we want to change the scene to you lose now let's preview see it it works let's create a you lose scene I'm gonna color it black I'm gonna choose a new object text you lose you don't need a font if you don't want to I'm gonna color it red hit apply you can choose any font you want like I said I wasn't planning on choosing a font but I kinda want to nope that does that wouldn't work hit apply and let's go see this is our game so you can go around you can shoot ducks don't shoot the orange ones I'm gonna tweak it a little bit though I'm going to change the speed up to 2 I'm gonna up this by one but there's something else we want to add which is when it hits the side we want it to say you lose so we're going to add a sprite we're gonna call this lose we we can literally make it any color we want because the player's not gonna see it. Now what duck was it that we had that you were going to gain a point? Um okay so duck one so duck two when duck one is in collision with lose we want to change the scene and there you go you got that um there's one more thing I want to do which is the score so every time you hit duck one you want to change the global variable plus one hit ok now we need a way for the player to see their score 
So we're going to go here, add a new text. We're going to say, call it score. Hit apply. I'm going to drag it into here. Okay. I'm going to go here and then we're going to create a new event. Um, you want to add only an action and go to score, modify text equals your variable. And right up here, we want to add a quotation mark, score, quotation mark, plus, is okay. And we now have a fully functional game. And we're getting points. You hit the blue, yellow, you lose. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you liked it. It's a really simple game to make. I mean, look at all the code. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. You use 12 lines of code to make this. To make a carnival shooting game. I hope you found this useful and I hope you enjoy it. If you learned something new, about how to fix some of the problems I had let me know in the comments below that's about all I have thank you goodbye